What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and we are back with another video, and today we're going to be going over the best units um, for Crimson Demon Hell. Now, I've already made videos over the other two demons, but um, this is going to be over Crimson Demon. Keep in mind, you can only use red units for Crimson Demon Hell, because that's how it works. So, I'm going to be going over all the characters that are really good, what they do, how they do it, debatably, blah, 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 blah. So... Let's go ahead and get into it. Starting out, we have Derriere, obviously. Um, I know she just came out. I know a lot of people don't have her, but the fact of the matter is she's good. Derriere kind of solos the raid, bro. Uh, like, unless you get, like, super unlucky and get no cards, she just basically solo, like, just destroys the raid. Um, her first, I mean, I, I'm not going to go over her too much because, like, it's self-explanatory what she does. Damage. She can boost herself, her ult has Amplify, and then her passive gives her a whole bunch of stacks of, you know, attack. So, nothing crazy as far as Derriere, there you go. Now, Meliodas. Demon, Red Demon Meliodas is made for the Crimson Demon raid. Uh, granted, he is not the best unit for the raid. He still is very, very good. First card giving the Ignite stack bonuses, which, um... Ignites just give you weight just more damage and more damage and more damage, which is very very good Then you go on to a second card what applies infect and infect is going to stop crimson demon from healing at all Which is really nice because crimson demon has a lot of Lifesteal so if you knock him down to 50% and then you let him attack you He's going to heal back a lot of HP Infect is going to be stopping that a lot of the time um, And on top of that his ultimate has weak point which is going to be doing triple damage to the enemy if they're debuffed, which is really, really nice. Good damage, good damage. Uh, it's passive. Increases crit chance by 50% when the ally dies. Uh, you don't really want that to happen. You don't want anybody to die. So that's not really good as far as this raid. Now, third is Red Escanor. If you guys don't know, Red Escanor does dumb damage. That's just the reality of it. He has Amplify on his first card. Second card's AoE, Ult Gage, Take Away. And then his ultimate just does a whole bunch of damage. 840% on a, on a you know, 1-6 Escanor. 960 on a 1-6 uh, um, with combo ult. Super, super good. Uh, really good about Escanor is he has a lot of HP starting out on, a, you know, the first three turns. Really, really good. But these three units are going to be your best damage dealer choices when it comes to this. Now, another unit, which was not on JP, so no one knew about him or nobody really talked about him, is Levi. Levi is guaranteed to crit because of how his passive works. Attacking with the lowest enemy's percentage, blah, 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 will result in a critical strike. Granted, there's only one enemy, so it'll always be the enemy with the lowest HP percent. So he will always crit. I tell people all the time, Levi is the only unit in the game that you will go triple crit damage on as far as gear. And the reason why is because he will always crit. It's guaranteed. Um... His first card has double crit damage, which is really nice. His second card has an AoE, which has despair, giving him some, you know, sustainability, which is really nice. And then his ultimate uh, cancels buffs and stances, which is kind of whatever, but, you know, icing on the cake, I guess. Um, but yeah, all four of these units are amazing. Now, I know not a lot of people have Levi, or not everybody built Levi, so that's perfectly fine. But there's no way you have Derriere, Meliodas, Escanor, and Levi, and not one of them isn't built. If one of them aren't built, you're trolling. 100%. Um, now, now let's get to the great value characters, so to speak. Some of the great value-ish characters. Red Bond has weak point, which works really well with Red Demon Meliodas. Because Red Demon Meliodas puts debuffs on. Um, this card right here also ranks down skills and can take away old gauge, which is really nice. His ultimate's the same one as every Nunchuck Bond. And his passive fills the ultimate move gauge by one at the start of the next turn if the hero takes damage pretty nice as well but um i mean i wouldn't recommend building him if you have any of these er other characters so there's that benny maru was also really nice he also has weak point on his card which is really good as well his passive increases damage dealt by three percent per skill uh use which is going to be up to 10 times so 30 percent his second card does defense down but you can only use this on the last health bar of crimson so that's, you know, whatever. And then his ultimate 560% to one enemy decreases skill ranks as well. These are all your damage dealers that you're going to be going with. Uh, you can also use SR Elizabeth. I highly wouldn't recommend it. She's going to be taking damage. She's not going to be able to really stack up her passive. Uh, granted, she does do really good, but it's just like 
she gets overshadowed by you know Escanor, Meliodas, Derriere, etc. In the long run, as far as you are gear and cosmetics and um, you know just all of that stuff. So there, there you go. As far as that. Now, moving on to supports, y'all already knew it was coming. Gother is obviously has to be on the team. You're gonna have a damage dealer. You gotta have Gother, right? So Derriere, Meliodas, Escanor, whoever you take, damage dealer, boom. You gotta have Gother. You got to. You got to, you got to, you got to. And the reason why is because of the rank ups. Gother, rank up is just too much of a limited resource to, if you don't take Gother, you're trolling. And it's crazy because Crimson Demon is the hardest demon on top of they're giving you the best unit for the best team unit, I guess. So um, Gother's rank ups are definitely going to be very, very beneficial. Both teams have to need to have that. Make sure you got it. Moving on to Arthur, Red Arthur. The red, red booster, you don't have to have, you don't have to bring two, right? What you can do is, say one one person takes like Derriere, Meliodas, Gother, the other player can take Escanor, Gother, Arthur. So that way, Arthur can boost everybody, but you're not taking two, Arthur, two Arthurs and overlapping boost. Now the upside is, you can have more damage. The downside is, if you have, uh, if you don't have two Arthurs, you're less likely to have two level three boost, because if you rank up everyone's cards and you have two Arthurs, both Arthurs are guaranteed to have a level 3 boost, so you can do it back to back. I recommend running two Arthurs simply because, like Arthur your, on your team, Arthur on the other person's team, simply because Arthur does good damage on his ultimate. His, um, his, uh, what's called, first card isn't going to be that bad either, and it, I feel like his rank, his level 3 rank up is too much of a commodity. It's, it's too necessary for you to risk not bringing two Arthurs to not have it just because you want more damage. Now, I mean, if you don't want to bring two Arthurs, that's perfectly fine as well. Do what you want to do. Um, now, we've talked about the damage dealers. We've talked about the support. We've talked about the booster. Now, we're going to talk about the four slot unit. There are a couple different ones that you can take. Number one. SR Liz. Her passive is giving you 10% of your max HP at the start of the next turn when you take damage. Very, very good. Very, very good passive. Um, you guys already know how good the passive is. She's an amazing unit for her passive. Uh, so very, very good unit there as far as her passive goes. Moving on, Gila. Red Gila, I know no one has her built. Well, most people don't. But if you do, increases allies HP related stats by 15% in deathmatch. So, you are getting, everyone is getting 15% li lifesteal on your team. Really, really good. Everybody. Everybody's getting 15% lifesteal on your team. Obviously, they're getting 15% HP as well and 15% recovery and regeneration as well. All of those are really good. It's going to keep you alive a lot longer. It's going to be really good for you. Um, you can definitely run her. Red Jericho. 10% attack related stats to red units. You can bring her if you want that little bit of extra damage. Very, very nice. If you feel like you're not surviving as good, take Twigo. 30% HP to red units. Very, very good as well. Nice. Um, and that's pretty much it for the fourth slot. Now, keep in mind, Red Elaine. Red Elaine, um, her passive increases status-related buff effects by 1.5 times for all allies in deathmatch. Very, very good. Her first card, 240%. Uh, second card, 300% fills ultimate move gauge by one. 500% fills ultimate move, move gauge by uh, two. Defense down of all enemies. You can only do that on turn three. Uh, she gives a boost to the cosmetic drops on Crimson Hell. So keep that in mind. And then her pass. I mean, her you know ult is the same. Um, I wouldn't recommend running her unless you have a solid team. Simply because like she's not going to be super crazy. But um, fourth slot, her passive is actually really nice. So there you guys go. But um. Status related buffs is basically combo her with Arthur. Really nice. Um, Darier also buffs herself. But yeah, so that is gonna be all the units for Crimson Demon Hell. Like I said, you're gonna be running, you're gonna wanna run one damage dealer, one booster. Well, one damage dealer, Arthur, Gother. That's basically your team, right? Whether it's Darieri, Meliodas, Escanor, Levi, whoever. You wanna want one damage dealer, Gother, Arthur. If you don't want to run two Arthurs, you can switch out your Arthur for a second damage dealer or your the person you're raiding with can. And that way, you will be guys will be able to get it done. Uh, Crimson Demon is no different. There's nothing different except he's a lot tankier and he hits a lot harder. And he has more HP. That's, that's everything. 
So, there you guys go. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys did in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.